Foxconn founder Terry Guo has officially qualified to run as a candidate in Taiwan's presidential election. The Election Commission says that he has collected enough valid signatures to enter the race as an independent. He will be allowed to register for the poll next week. And Mr Guo thanked his supporters and vowed to work hard to achieve peace across the Taiwan Strait in a statement. The billionaire businessman had announced his bid in August, calling to unite the opposition. He's blamed the ruling Democratic Progressive Party, or DPP, for taking Taiwan to the brink of war by antagonizing China. Mr Kuo is one of the four candidates in the election. Opinion polls suggest that he is the least favored one. And CNA's Deborah Wong tells us more about Terry Gore's presidential bid and how this could affect the opposition's efforts to form an alliance against the ruling DPP. Mr. Kuo has been meeting with uh, the TPP's candidate Kerwins on several occasions, but uh, both men have been quite coy about any form of discussions. Mr. Kuo's team has maintained that any talk of a coalition uh, would not impact his own game plan, whereas uh, Mr. Kerr's team uh, is, is consistently also saying that you know, they're just meeting for a chat, they're just meeting for dinner, and it's just uh, for them to get to know each other better. Uh, but sources are telling me that if a coalition talks between the TPP as well as the Gongling falls through, uh, Mr. Kerr could seriously consider partnering with Mr. Kuo. And if that happens, uh, Mr. Kuo cannot stand as an independent candidate. So really all eyes are on whether or not he registers for a presidential ticket uh, during the nomination period next week on uh, the 20th of November to the 24th of November. Now, that said, there has been some progress between uh, the Kuomintang and the TPP. So both sides have now agreed um, to conduct public polls to determine who should be taking the top job in a joint presidential ticket. Now, they will be meeting the two candidates, uh, Kerwin Zhe, as well as Kuomintang's candidate Ho Yi will be meeting on Wednesday at 10 a.m. in the presence of uh, former President Ma ying Now that his presence there is to ensure credibility as well as transparency to the meeting. And we're expecting to see two things emerge from tomorrow's meeting. Number one, clarity on a polling timeline. And number two, a consensus on the content and the rules of the polling. Now why a coalition is important because now that we're seeing a four horse race shaping up, you know, that could split the opposition vote and really um, allow the DPP to, to get a higher, uh, pro uh, higher chances of winning. So once a coalition is formed, the opposition camp uh, is, is rallying, that votes will be rallied and it, they can potentially also unseat the, D the DPP from power.